Okay, so we have this expression here, and it involves some powers and exponents. And uh, the question is, can you factor this? Now, um, this, let me just tell you right up front that this thing can be factored, all right? So if you're looking at it and you're like, hmm, yeah, maybe your expression is like, uh, let's kind of draw something kind of more interesting. Maybe it's like, hmm, no, I conclude that this thing cannot be factored. Well, unfortunately, you would be incorrect because it can be factored. And uh, it's not so obvious when you look at something like this how, you know, how to, how to factor this or even if, if it is factorable. So you need to be uh, good at factoring other more basic type of things. And we're going to quickly just review some of the basic factoring skills that you need to handle a problem like this. But um, this thing is factorable and you will encounter problems like this uh, in algebra. So uh, definitely need to know how to be able to handle something like this. In algebra, sometimes it's a little deceiving because we look at problems and we're like, nope, that can't be done. Uh, it's impossible. There's no way we can do that. Well, mm, you need to know, um, you know, you got to expand your toolkit, if you will. And the only way to have a lot of tools in algebra is to practice a lot of, you know, learn a lot of skills and do a lot of problems. That's really what it comes down to. So we're going to tackle this problem here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have a, a hundred plus different math courses. Um, all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But uh, I also have a lot of courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for, let's say, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe the CLEP exam, uh, AccuPlace or Alex, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis or a nursing entrance or uh, the military ASVAB exam. All those exams have serious math sections on them. And if you don't do well in the math, then you're not going to do well on the test. And that's not going to have uh, good implications uh, for your goals. So just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. Uh, I should have what you are studying. If I do not, please let me know. Drop me a line in our contact form and I'll help you out the best I can. Also, I uh, do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So I uh, have a great homeschool learning system. So if you homeschool, I could definitely help you out. And then obviously, uh, I help uh, those of you that are struggling in your current math course. But uh, one thing that I cannot do for you, if you're serious about uh, getting uh, strong in mathematics, then that is the following, uh, is note-taking, okay? Over decades of teaching math, one thing is apparent to me, those students who have great math notes almost always end up doing very, very well in mathematics. And the reverse is true. Those students who were like myself way back in the good old 1980s, that was such a good time to be a student. We didn't have cell phones, okay? So, well, we did, but they were like huge and they cost like $5,000. So nobody I knew had a cell phone, but um, it was still a great uh, decade to grow up. But you know, you know, my note taking looked like this. It was scribble scratching. I probably should just do doodling or whatnot, just to you know tell the teacher or convince the teacher that I was taking notes. Uh, but I would also write little notes to my friends and say, "Hey, what are we doing this weekend?" Yada yada. Yeah, guess what? You know, I wasn't the best student in high school. Uh, it took me years to uh, figure out how to be a strong student in uh, college. But uh, the bottom line is this: if you don't take notes, then how can you stay focused? Sometimes. I think a lot of students think they have this like uh, uh, ability, okay, to like uh, remember everything they see. Okay, that's like absolutely not, not going to be the case. So don't deceive yourself that you have like this superpower that oh I don't have to write things down. I'll just remember this. No, you will not. Believe me. Uh, you know, some of you think that you have like oh photographic memory. Maybe 0.00001% of our population has that ability. So it's likely you do not. You just got to write stuff down, okay, which requires uh, work and effort. But you can do it, okay? And, and as you improve in your note-taking, everything is going to get better. So work on your notes. But in the meantime, you still need something to study from. So uh, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so here is our problem, and this thing is factorable. 
So let's talk about some of the uh, things that you're going to need to know uh, to factor this problem. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. You need to know how to uh, factor out the greatest common factor. So let's just look at something like this. 2x uh, squared plus x. Okay, can you factor out the greatest common factor? Hopefully you, um, all of you out there are like, oh, it's x. That would be 2x plus 1. So x here is our greatest common factor. So anytime we're dealing with factoring, always, always, always look uh, for the greatest common factor. Okay, so that's uh, one hint. Okay, you'll need to be doing that. And then you need to know something about powers uh, in terms of the parts of powers and properties of powers. So powers involve uh, a base and an exponent. Okay, so for example, let's say I have um, uh, 3 squared. Okay, if I'm multiplying 3 squared times uh, 3 let me erase that, 3 cubed. Now, you can, of course, go into your calculator. 3 squared is 9. Uh, 3 cubed is 27. That's not what I'm talking about. Here, if the bases are the same, what do we do with the exponents here? Okay. Hopefully, most of you know, oh, okay, if this is multiplication of powers we're gonna, and the bases are the same, we're going to add the exponents. That's 2 plus 3. Uh, I could do another example. Let's say y to the 7th times uh, y squared is equal to y to the 7 plus 2 or y to the 9th. So you need to know about powers and all the properties of powers. This is only one um, of the properties. So if you're not familiar with uh, the properties of exponents and whatnot, I have many videos on this in my algebra playlist on my channel. Uh, then, of course, you need to uh, understand uh, the GCF, which I have many videos on a GCF as well. So if you understand this stuff right here, if you're like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. And you're like, come on, let's get to the problem. I'm saying, okay, I'm just, you know, I told you I was going to give you a little bit of a hint, okay, uh, to kind of set the expectation up. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this problem. All right. Now, now, we don't know if this can be factored, but we're maybe, you know, first glance, you should be kind of suspicious to say, you know, I think this can be factored, or at least let's definitely explore this. Now, notice this thing is, uh, uh, this is a uh, difference. This is uh, being, these two terms are being, uh, are separated by a subtraction operator. But here I have a four, here I have a two, and you're like, okay, can definitely factor out a GCF here. Okay, that's that's easy, all right. But I have a C, and I have another C here. So I have the same base, but the exponents are different. So this is this is the part that's probably going to confuse uh, students initially. But we need to be able to break this down because this is a problem that you know it's not a super common problem, but it's definitely something that you need to know how to work with in algebra. So let's take a look at each of these terms. Let's take a look at first at the uh, 4 times c to the n plus 1 power. And let's break this down into kind of its uh, uh, prime factors, kind of its components fac component factors here. So we'll look at this second. So uh, 4, obviously, is 2 times 2. Okay, so I could write that as 2 times 2. And then here I have c to the n plus 1. So we'll write that as c to the n plus 1. But this is the part right here, what I'm going to show you next, that is the key to unlocking this problem. So this c to the n plus one, you can actually write this this way, okay? That's c to the n times c to the first. All right, so let's just look at this here. c to the n times c to the first. The bases are the same, okay? Remember, if the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so that's gonna be c to the n plus one. So this was this. This is really kind of think the secret here, and it's not you know so intuitive to kind of see that. But if you did see that, then that's excellent. All right. So c to the n plus one. I could break this down as c to the n times c to the one. Again, c to the n times c to the one is c to the n plus one. So now this thing is completely factored. Okay. Now let's just stop right here. Uh, don't look at this stuff yet. Okay. Now let's do the same thing to this other expression, uh, 2 times c to the n. So that's just 2 times c to the n, or 2 times c to the n. We can kind of pull it out this way. Now we have some things to look for, okay? I'm like, all right, what's in common, all right? Can I 
uh, pull out a greatest common factor. What factors, that's what does this greatest common factor stand for? Well, we're looking for factors, okay, that are in common. Okay, we want to pull out uh, as many as we can. That would be the greatest. So looking at this, okay, I'm looking at this expression and this expression. Let's start circling factors that are in common. Well, they have this two, they have a two in common, or not, this has two twos. They only have one two in common. Okay, so I'm going to circle that because that's going to be part of my GCF. Now, if I look closely, I have a C to the N here, and I also have a C to the N here. So 2 times C to the N is going to be my GCF. So let's write that right there. That's my greatest common factor. Now, again, if you're not uh, familiar with uh, uh, factoring the GCF, this is, you know, this is probably a little bit more, this is probably not the problem uh, that you want to start with. Okay, go back and take a look at other more basic problems. But this is the greatest common factor. Now, uh, this is going to be multiplied by whatever's left. So what's left in this first term? We have a 2 and c to the first. So that's just 2 times c. Okay, that's 2 to the, times c to the first, or that's 2 times c. That's in our first term. Minus, that goes right there. And then there's nothing here. So we have to put something, so that's going to be 1. And the way we can check our work that we actually factor this correctly is if we multiply... 2 times c to the n times 2 times c, what do we get? We get 4. c to the n times c to the first is going to be c to the uh, n plus 1, okay? Minus 2cn times 1 is going to be 2cn. And if I'm not mistaken, okay, 4c to the n plus 1 and minus 2 times c to the n, that was our original problem. Okay. All right. So if you got this problem right, I must in turn give you a happy face with a uh, crazy ho uh, mohawk like, uh, well, we used to kind of wear them in the 1980s. I didn't wear them, but a lot of friends of mine, and they kind of went really up. We used a lot of hairspray back in those days. Uh, it was an inc incredible amount of hairspray that we would put uh, on our head. It was probably very dangerous. But anyways, uh, you definitely earned yourself a nice mohawk, an A+, plus, a 100%. Matter of fact, I might give you like four stars for figuring this problem out. Um, and possibly, if you were my student, I would just say, take the textbook home. You are done. Uh, just teach yourself math. You're probably watching that guy on YouTube because uh, that was fantastic. Uh, but listen, no, that's very, very good. If you're able to, If you're able to figure this problem out, then that shows me that you got some pretty strong algebra skills. So good for you. So um, anyways, factoring, it's absolutely essential in algebra. Uh, and the only way you're going to get better at factoring is to factor uh, lots of problems. Okay, so, you know, you just can't factor some basic problems to be like, oh, look, I can do factoring. No, again, that's the very uh, deceiving. There's a lot of students who uh, think that, just because they can do some basic problems, they, then they think that, oh, I got that skill and I can handle any problem that comes our way. No, not the case, okay? You're going to have to practice, 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 practice. That's what I try to do on my channel. But if in some way this video kind of helped you out, uh, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, I've been on uh, YouTube for a long time. We have tons of videos organized from basic to advanced math on my uh, channel, okay, in various playlists, uh, it's my goal, okay, to teach math in a clear and understandable way, okay? I want you to, nobody should be failing math these days. If you're doing your part, taking great math notes, okay, and going to your teacher, if you need uh, more help beyond that, there's all kinds of options for you, okay? Find a teacher that you like and understand. If you like my instruction, that's awesome. That's what I, you know, I make these videos. So I have tons of other uh, videos uh, on my channel, uh, but my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, in your mathematics adventures. And thank you for your time and have a great day.